All right, I have finally decided. Uh, oh, hang on, that was the wrong button. Uh, where is it? Build mode. Right. Uh, I finally decided what my goal is for the moment and formal. Is it formal? Superior garden. Um. So yeah, I want to start working on my superior garden. And uh, currently, my goal is going to be for seventy-five construction. Because that will get me this, the rejuvenation pool. Uh, and this gives me prayer. And I also want to get 75 so that I can make a lunar altar in my house. Because then I'll be able to switch on and off lunars a whole lot easier. Like, uh, the Arceus spellbook's fairly easy to get on anyway. And I don't go onto the ancient spellbook very often. But l being able to change between lunars real easy will be super nice. Um... But yeah, I'm going to go buy the things from Keldegrim that I need to get this one. And then I'm going to be able to upgrade it to this one without having to boost. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to training construction, get myself to 75. And then boost to get myself this and the Lunar Altar. Build pool space. Uh, the restoration pool. Sweet. Uh, upgrades. Now, now we upgrade it to... I don't... There is no brown juices. <laughs> all, all I know is that that's like Ribena <laughs> uh, 71 construction okay so I was making a list of everything that I needed to uh, do all my various goals and one of these is um, 82 Herblo so to make it easier I just wanted to have a full list of all of the things hopefully I didn't get my Toad, not toad flex, tossed all out. I think we're safe. Yeah. Uh, so now that I've done this, I have uh, I have all of my herbs that I'm going to uh, turn into pots, turned into unfinished potions, so I can I can easily get the number of secondaries that I need uh, just by looking at the amount of pots I have. Okay. So same kind of plan but i've got a new update for it basically the mahogany treasure chest is something that i really want to get to clear out some bank space because i can put any uh, clue scroll uniques that i get but as you can see i need 84 for this since you can get a plus five boost with a stew plus three with a saw i need uh to get to 76 to be able to make this um so 76 is now the construction goal that I'm going to get first so that I can make this and empty out my bank. Okay, so I realized uh, just a bit ago that now that I'm 80, well, I could have done it from 79, but I didn't notice. But I can use a garden pie to... Oh, no, I had to be 80 for it. Nice. But yeah, I can use... Uh, hang on, that's Calclot. Spirit. I can now plant a spirit tree. Um... And the reason I'm doing it in Brimhaven is because every time that I want to get to Brimhaven, I need to use a house tab and a redirection scroll, whereas using this, all I need to use is a charge for my Slayer Ring. But it's, my Slayer Ring is eternal, so it doesn't make a difference. Okay, so this will be getting us 81. <laughs> Never mind. Give me a second. I've still got another tree. It's fine. This can be saved as long as the tree is still alive. Hey, the tree is alive, so here this will be 81 farming. Uh, doesn't get me anything. So I was just uh, just do getting all my compost sorted, and this is this is a this is not a good site. Look at this. All right, I had this hard clear my bank. I think I got it from my Anku Slayer task, whenever that was, but I just couldn't be bothered to do it at the time. Uh, but yeah, let, I just completed it. It was only like three steps. It was super easy. Let's see what we're going to get. Um, well, I feel like the Black Cavalier is new. I don't... Oh, shit. Just ate a fucking sweet. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's definitely new. I don't have one of those already. But I feel like I have a Guthic Stole. Okay, so this next bench should be getting me a level. What is this? 72. Uh, three more levels before I am done with this for the moment. If it's like, switching. Um, 99. Like uh, white berries. Uh, yes, I have. And that is... Oh, hang on. There we go. 75 construction. Time to do herb law now. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, let me just... Boom. And boom. There we go. It looks normal now. Right. 
so I realized that I wanted to go for 76 to make the mahogany treasure chest and I completely forgot about that. But this should get me the level. Yeah, there we go. I actually ran out of teak planks with about 7k XP to go. Um, so I had to finish off making oak ladders, but it's still not that slow. Uh, now that I've made this, I'm going to go and either get myself the 10,000 astral runes or make myself potions to 82 herb lore. Okay, so I have about 10,000 astral runes that I need to get my hands on for the altar and uh, basically to buy them it costs 300 each which to buy the 10k is 3 mil and that's, that's a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to craft as many as I can and yeah it's it's they're fairly quick it's they're not too bad to be honest it's wait i just noticed something they fixed the telly the, the group teleport used to take you like here isn't it <coughs> whereas whereas like it's taking you like what why would they do oh i'm sad now all right coming in with a bit of a double clip here first of all this will be getting me a total of 3,000 astral runes, which means only 7,000 to go. It also should be getting me a rune crafting level. And there we are, 65 I think that is. Yeah, 65. Well, that's death runes. Ooh, nice. Well, I managed to miss it again, but that is 402 KC at Kraken. So, yeah, this is... This boss is just... It's so good. You just sit here and you don't have to look at the screen. Just watch YouTube and shit. It's so good. 79 herb lore. Three levels to go till I can boost to make the anti venoms. Okay, so I used all of the supplies that I had, all the secondaries that I had. And first one that I went to go and collect is Snape. Where is it? And to go, that is all the Snape grass that I need. I'm not going to do this yet. Because I'm probably going to go and collect something else before I start making more potions. Right, and that is all of the red spider's eggs that I need. But since I've got these in my bank, I'm just going to keep going and get rid of all these sardines. Because this is fairly quick and it's not too hard. So I don't mind doing this for a bit before moving on to the next one. Okay, so as long as my math isn't failing me, that should be enough uh, blue dragon scales. As you can see... Two inventories, I grounded them while I was picking them up, but then I couldn't be bothered doing that. Uh, and since I need to go take these to Nada to get them grounded, because through doing them on myself, that takes a lot of time, I'm just going to buy myself the chocolate, and then I can take them all at once. And that will be two more things checked off the list. Alright, since I'm on Lunas, I needed to come to my house to uh, get back to Lumbridge, which is blue portal there. So I thought, while I'm here, let's see if I can get the boost for this. Fairly sure I can do it in building mode. Uh, but yeah, I I only need a plus one to have the crystal so I'll be able to do it. So if I don't get it in this, uh, this four boost, I'm going to be upset. Well, that was easy. First try, I got it. And that is the pool of rejuvenate, reju reju rejuvenation required. This does prayer, spec, and run energy, I believe. This has got to be the quickest and easiest one that there is. There we go. 983 chocolate bars. Pop that back to there, drag it into here, and as you can see, I actually went a little bit over. Ah well, it's too much of an issue, and I'll have it for the next Harrowlanders. So let's head over to Nada. Oh, I didn't need to deposit those. Right, let's head over to Nada and get these crushed. Okay, and that is Harrowlanders, Ranars, Toadflax, Snapdragons, Mantidimes, Beated. And here is... 80 herblo, one more level, and I'll be able to make all of my brews, which will be nice. Uh, do I get anything? Ranging mix, and I can mix with vials of blood. Nice. <laughs> good, good. Uh, I'm, good. I'm glad, I'm glad. Y YouTube voice it up for the DMED. Gone. Nah, that, that was the clip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> Okay, so while I was doing my herb lore calculations, something that I just completely forgot about and didn't bring into my calculations was making uh, stamina pots, which is what I'm going to do now, because uh, once, I, well, I'm not entirely sure how much XP these things give, so I'm just going to do them and then continue my calculations from that rather than just calculating these out, because there's no reason to not make everything that I can into staminas, because staminas are just 
more useful. I just realized that I have a high enough level to be able to boost using a botanical pie to make extended antifires. Uh, never mind, I don't have a botanical... Later, I will, I will, I will boost later. <laughs> well, I decided to buy some uh, astral runes because I couldn't be bothered to craft 10,000 of them and I ran out of um, world hops, so I decided to take a quick break and make all of my the ashes that I had. Uh, and it turns out this is actually going to get me the level, I think. One more. Yeah, there we go. 81 Herblore. This means I can m now make Sour Brews without having to boost for them. And there is the 10k uh, Astral Runes. I also bought myself a couple Nature Runes because I was running out. Uh, but yeah, 10,000 Astral Runes. So I can now uh, get a plus... I think I only need the plus 5 boost. So I guess plus 2 boost with... Uh, with the crystal saw to be able to make myself the lunar altar, which means I'll be able to change to lunar sparbuck in my house. Well, damn! Uh, I managed to get the I managed to get it all on the first boost. Yeah, uh, yeah, I managed to get uh, managed to get plus five construction on the first boost. I didn't want to risk losing it by starting the recording beforehand, but yeah, it turns out I had plenty of time. Damn. Uh, yeah, so I've now got my, my Lunar Altar, so I can go on and off the Lunar Spellbook real easy. Takes no time whatsoever. It doesn't have a right-click option for Lunar, which I know the Occult Altar has for all of them. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I'm gonna have to rearrange my house a bit, because this is, this is in the wrong place. But how can I... Ooh. Oh, I could have done that if I thought ahead. Actually, I might still be able to do it. Okay, let's see. Uh, as long as the crystal saw works, I should still be able to build it. Hey, there we go. Okay, so uh, I just got the plus five construction boost and I've been able to build my mahogany treasure chest. Does the, I'm fairly sure this stores any tier of blue scroll items? Yeah, nice. Damn, third Ajax, maybe, maybe one day. Yeah, let's go empty out my uh, my bank and um, see how much we can get in there. Okay, so I'm gonna make as many of my elite caskets as I can. Uh, I do need 77 to be able to make them. So I have to use the crystal saw, but uh, it's easy to recharge. And this should be the first one. Boom, there we go. And here is number two. Easy peasy. Number three. Uh, I've already forgotten how many I've done. I think this is four? I'm at that rock. Boom. Nice. Ooh, and I have four items. Hopefully, hopefully the, the dragons can kill me. Uh, this is number five. Okay, number six, and also Rip Iron Yugo. Ex-Hardcore Iron Man, by the way. Uh, it's number seven. Boom. Easy. Uh, so this is actually a hard stash unit, but I remembered that I could make it now that I've actually got a crozier. So I thought, yeah, let's do this while I'm doing all of these. There we go. That is all of the hard stash units built, except for uh, the ones that require rune heraldic shields and rune heraldic helms, because uh, I need one more of each of those so that I can build the stash units, otherwise I'll need to like get them out of stash one stash unit to use them for another clue. Alright, I went through my bank and this is everything that I have that can go in here. I'm fairly sure if I take this off. It doesn't wrong. I thought it may have given me a message specific to what I was putting in. Uh, but yeah, this is, as far as I could find, the only things that I can put in here. Everything else either needs to be in a set, or I need it for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, this is nearly a, uh, oh, that was a set. This is nearly a full inventory of bank space, and I, uh, have now got an empty looting bag, so I'm going to be able to put, um, my old stuff into there now so that's even more bank space okay so I was looking at the items I need to uh, be able to make all the stash units and 
Uh, it turns out I actually alked all of my rune kite shields, and um, yeah, I need one. And I was looking at what drops them, and Source Go Tizo was there. So I thought, you know what, let's... I don't feel like doing this Divisal Demon task, let's go back to Slayer. And literally the first task that I got after skipping that uh, Divisal Demon's task is a Greater Demon's task. So let's go kill some Skotizo. Alright, I forgot to bring my Elite so that I could drop it. Uh, so we're not going to be getting an Elite from this guy. But at the very least we might be getting, we'll, well we will be getting a hard. Ah, Rune Plate Skirts, so close. Uh, yeah, I'm, man, do I need Rune Plate Skirts? No, I need Rune Plate Legs! Ah, dude, so close. All right, here we have the uh, hard casket. This was actually a really long clue. I feel like this was like six or seven steps. It was insane. Uh, but let's see, what are we going to get? Third Age Lobsters. <laughs> Is that just a regular rune full helm? Jeez, that was not good. Not... Ooh, one, two, three clues, though. Hell yeah. And I brought my Elite this time. He didn't get one, but we did get rune plate legs, which is something I did need uh, for my, um, for some clue scrolls. So, yeah, that's nice. I don't need to go buy them anymore. All right, we have another hard. Oh, hang on, I should probably dropping my master. I really need to reorganize this whole thing. All right, drop the master. Let's see what's in the hard casket. Hey, rune kite shield. That is actually one of the things I needed. Nice. And here is kill number three. I've dropped my elite, so hopefully we can get a new one. It's one in five chance. And we didn't. Uh, but we did get some more raw anglerfish, which... Okay, we have another hard clue here. Let's see. Uh, third age lobsters again. I think that's three in a row. And all three of them have been pretty bad. I think, <laughs> what, the highest? 59k? Yeah, a new master would have been pretty nice, but uh, yeah, I've now killed Gotizo with my three times, I didn't get a new elite, so what I'm going to do, as I as per what I said to myself, I'm going to go back to Chaos uh, Fanatic and try and get myself that split bark body, because uh, I kind of just want to get this elite out of my bank so that I don't have to worry about it anymore and I can start getting a new one, and then I need to work on this master. Oh. Uh, that is another pair of split bark legs, <laughs> which six now. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually curious about how long this is going to take. I'm, I feel like I should have got it by now. Oh, hey. There it is. Uh, nice. I never need to come back to this bus unless I, for some reason, decide that I want to get the, um... The wards. Okay, so I just got the, uh, the next step, and as you can see, I need rune boots. And who the thunk it? I outlooked all my rune boots. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go kill some neck reels now. Uh, well, that was super duper quick. Uh, I killed like six. Uh, well, hang on. Why am I complaining? I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, rock not be mined out, but let's just uh, do this quickly, I don't think, yeah, uh, but what this is, is this is number bollock, oh, I'll do it next time, or it's some later day, I can't be asked right now, hey, Wyson my boy, this better be something good, this has been in my bank for a long time, and crazy uh, ca uh, chaos fanatic did not want to give me that top, so let's see, are we going to get something good? Ah, uh, uh, it's yeah, it, it could be worse. It, let's 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 yeah, let's let's say that it could be worse. <laughs> it's actually not quite that bad. All right, uh, a quick explanation. Uh, like I said, a video or two videos ago, I think I've got this buzzing in my mic, and you might be able to hear it in this clip. I'm not sure if I fixed it or not, but basically all of these clips had it, and I spent forever in Audacity trying to find the frequency and get rid of it. Uh, but I couldn't. It, I, no matter what I tried, the buzzing was there. So instead of trying to get rid of the frequency or a small amount of frequency, I pretty much just hammered off the entire high frequency end of it. So my voice sounds weird, but it doesn't have the buzzing. And in my opinion, it's a whole lot better. 
you might not be able to hear the buzzing, but I can and it irritates me. So hopefully it's alright. But yeah, thanks for watching.